GeForce Now has an amazing lineup for the month of August, Stadia's got a new feature and a potential game leak, and Xbox Game Pass is testing out family plans at a pretty insane value. We'll be breaking down all the latest in the cloud gaming space, so let's get to it. Nvidia has officially shared that there will be a total of 38 games arriving on GFN this month, 18 of those titles being day one releases. We'll be going through the entire list in just a second, but I do want to highlight two games in particular. First up is a day one AAA release, and that's Saints Row, which launches August 23rd. This may very well be the biggest game of the month, and it's a game I can't wait to check out. The reboot to the franchise seems to be toning down a lot of things that happened in the fourth and got out of hell, which I feel went a far bit too superhero-esque. I do think being more grounded is a good thing, especially since previews from the title so far seem to be saying it's aiming more toward an in-between of Saints Row 2 and 3. And with this being a modern day AAA release, I'm super excited to test it out on the 3080 tier and crack up all those settings to max and enjoy this game at its absolute best. That said, it's far from the only exciting game coming this month. The other game I really want to highlight is an indie title called Cult of the Lamb, and if you haven't heard of its name yet, you might be hearing a lot about it soon. Previews for this title so far have been extremely positive, and I've seen it described as Animal Crossing for a more mature audience who wants a good laugh. Seriously though, this is a game you might want to keep an eye out on, and luckily it won't be too long before it actually comes out since it launches just 3 days from the day this video was posted on August 11th. But as I said earlier, that's just 2 out of the 38 games arriving, so let's quickly list the rest. The following games are currently available to play, and that includes Retreat to Enin, Asphalt 9 Legends, Lost Light, Camp Canyonwood, Turbo Golf Racing, Creeper World 4, Hard Space Shipbreaker, Strategic Mind Blitzkrieg, The Pacific, Spectre of Communism, and Fight for Freedom, as well as Talisman, Digital Edition, and Video Horror Society. Coming later this month, you have Tyrant's Blessing, Farthest Frontier, Arcade Paradise, Rumbleverse, Cult of the Lamb, The Amnesia, Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2, Fallen Legion Revenants, Saints Row, The Bridge Curse, Road to Salvation, F1 Manager 2022, Scathe, Mandalay, Century, Age of Ashes, Clan Folk, Coromon, Dark Deity Name, Hotline Miami 2 Wrong Number, Hypercharge Unboxed, Infinite Lagrange, and Last Call BBS. Overall a pretty impressive lineup and one that's jam packed with titles. It's important to always remember that GeForce Now has a habit of adding even more games every month that aren't listed in these monthly previews. For example in the month of January they added an additional 13 games so who knows what else is in store for this month. Be sure to subscribe to stay tuned for that info as I will be highlighting the biggest games coming each and every week on GFN and other cloud gaming services. Speaking of which, let's talk about Stadia. It was announced just today that new features are rolling out this week. First up is better live streaming directly from Stadia. As some of you may be aware, you can currently stream directly to YouTube from your Stadia instance, and yes that includes 4K streaming, but up until now there hasn't been a way to switch game midstream without shutting down the entire stream and creating a new one. Being able to do this is a pretty big deal for streamers and a very welcome change for Stadia. Better yet, Google went the extra step of not only allowing users to switch games, but also the device they're streaming from without any interruption for the audience. You can start a stream on one game on your PC and continue your stream on another game on your tablet without any downtime. Pretty cool stuff. In addition to streaming to YouTube, party streaming is another feature currently rolling out. This one allows you to stream your video feed to anyone in your group party in case you want to share what you're playing or tune into a game that your friends are in. I actually use this feature a lot on Discord and PlayStation and it's cool to see it here for Stadia. Each party stream can support up to 10 players and this can be a mix of those broadcasting and watching content. While in a party, all other features are still working such as voice chat but those watching can send text messages and emojis which will pop up to those doing the streaming to keep them in the loop. Now as if that weren't enough, in this very same news drive, Google supplied a few images of the feature in which a game that hasn't been announced for Stadia is being showcased. The title in question appears to be Sega's Team Sonic Racing and I'd say there's a really good chance this game is on the way and somewhat soon. I wouldn't be too surprised if we hear more about it on tomorrow's This Week on Stadia blog post. All in all, pretty good stuff from Stadia. It really does seem like they're ramping things up for the fall season, which is easily the biggest season in the gaming industry. With Saints Row and FIFA 23 now being confirmed for day one, and these new features on the way, I can't wait to see what else the team over at Google has up their sleeves. The last topic of the day revolves around Game Pass family plans which are now in testing for Xbox insiders who live in Colombia or Ireland. 
This is something that Xbox has talked about in the past and it appears to be rolling out soon to everyone. Let me just say that the value at hand here is insane. The Xbox family plans allow you to share all the benefits of Game Pass Ultimate with up to 5 people. This means you get Game Pass on your Xbox, PC, and cloud-enabled devices. The crazy part is the pricing itself. Game Pass Ultimate for a single user currently costs $14.99 a month. The family plan currently in testing is targeting a $24.99 a month price tag and gives Game Pass Ultimate to 5 users that can be used at the same time. Currently, the only limitations I'm aware of is that other members need to be within the same country as you, and conversions of Game Pass subscription time will only apply to the primary account holders, so if you're currently subbed for a year and want to join someone else's family plan, you will lose your sub time. Xbox themselves do promote in the blog post announcing this that you can share with friends as well, so while it is described as a family plan, they aren't against you finding friends and splitting it that way. What's crazy to me is that if you can find just 4 other people you know well enough, Game Pass Ultimate could potentially just cost you 5 bucks a month for everything included. If you ask me, this is crazy aggressive pricing for Microsoft and it seems like they're all in on making it as tempting as possible to join the Xbox ecosystem. The amount of value Game Pass provides is already pretty insane and this just further pushes the narrative that the Xbox Game Pass model is the best deal in gaming. I have no doubt that once this rolls out to further countries, it will be a big deal everywhere online. Imagine a future where you and your friends can be subbed and all play major day one titles like Diablo 4 or the newest Call of Duty at an insanely low price, and it becomes super hard to ignore what Xbox is putting out on the table. I'll be keeping a close eye on this and I'll be sure to update with any more info as it drops. Either way, that wraps up all the cloud gaming news of the day. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. Today's end of video message is just going to be a quick thank you for all the patience you've had with the channel. I know I haven't been uploading as much this past week, but that's because I have family over and have been enjoying my time with them. That said, this video is catching up on most of the major news that happened very recently as far as today. I will be uploading another video on some more small time news that you may have missed, but is of interest to all the cloud gaming services and the space overall. The best place to keep up with me or reach out to me will always be the community discord so if you haven't already be sure to join the new one it's linked in the description below and the pinned comment of this video once again i just want to thank you for your patience i appreciate it a lot as always if you have any feedback leave it down below and i'll be sure to take it into account i hope you had a great weekend and had a great day this has been the virtual cloud giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related and until next time i'll catch you in the clouds